Do we have something special for you today? Redox OS. It is an operating system written in the Rust language, so it is memory safe. It is completely written from the ground up in Rust by Jeremy Solar, and he is also the developer on the Cosmic desktop environment, which is being written in Rust with System76. So this guy knows his stuff. Now that we have Redox OS benchmarked, let's have a look at where it ranks. And what we have benchmarked for Redox is both just the base operating system with console with no desktop environment, and then also, again, with the orbital desktop environment, which they offer, which is, I believe, is written in Rust. And here we go. Now, let's start with the base operating system. This performance, 181 megs of RAM for the base operating system is not bad, considering it's pretty new. I'm not sure when they began writing it, but it's definitely not since the 90s with Alpine Linux. 85 megabytes with Alpine Linux for memory usage, 120 with Nix OS, and then 181 with Redox OS server. This is good, considering it's half of what Debian or FreeBSD would be using. I don't really consider using these other Arch, you know, Ubuntu based on Debian or NetBSD. I don't really consider using those as a server unless it was a requirement for some reason. This is good, especially for how young it is. It's a great start. And the other thing is when running a Redox server is you're not based on GNU utils, which are all written in C. They're all going to have the same C problems, exploits. So this is great. 181 megs. Hopefully this can be slimmed down like Alpine has done. The system load is zero. That's fantastic. <laughs> 111 megs of disk usage. Now this is great because if you look at Alpine Linux, this is tiny, 347 megs of disk usage. 111 is great. And then this is the best reboot time of any system, four seconds. The next closest thing was five seconds with Debian and this might have been optimized in the bootloader. So this might not even be the default boot time. When 12.6 gets tested, then we'll have a better idea of what the default is. I don't remember if this was optimized, but four seconds default, this is great. This is totally a server I would recommend for security. While the performance might not be there, the security is great having a memory safe language. If you're not going to run Redox, then Alpine would be the next pick. So now that we've done the server, let's have a look at the desktop. It is running the Orbital desktop environment for Redox 0.8.0. So this is a two-year-old version of Redox and 0.9.0. It may be with Cosmic desktop environment. It's not clear to me. It looks like some of what's being uh, developed in Cosmic desktop environment is also going to be included in Redox, which is it's totally fine. It does not need to have its own unique everything, especially if it's the same developer and it's in the same wrestling. It's using Rust. These three, the unfortunate thing about Redox is it is so new still. I don't know if it's possible to get the version number of software that's installed. <laughs> So that's one kind of uh, huge drawback when it comes to auditing. If you do get exploited, how do you know if the version that you're running is the latest version, which version was exploited? So that makes this difficult to recommend for production use where these things need to be accountable. If this is going into an environment where things need to be more accountable, then it's just not there yet. This is a simple thing. I don't know how complex it would be for Redox to add version information into its applications. That's like a, a hard one. When it comes to performance, even though this is a two-year-old version, 251 megs of RAM is not bad. It's better than Hannah Montana Linux version 2 from 2009. And all of these are not as good as Hannah Montana Linux from 2009. And these names you might recognize. Redox already has a head start. 251 megs RAM. Hopefully it stays down at this stage. That's good. And then since it's written in Rust, I'm sure as a default or as a base when you're building these things, it's not going to be loaded by default. And if it is, I'm sure you can talk to people that know all about the borrow checker. 184 megabytes of disk usage. This is with a desktop environment. And that is better than Alpine Linux without one. So this is definitely the number one performer. When it comes to disk usage, Redox is fantastic. This is great. The only downside is the reboot time is nine seconds instead of four. So 
that could possibly be optimized. But as a start for an operating system that's memory safe, there's no C code, this is a great start. I have a video that I put out based on trying to get this installed and configured. And you can see some of the things that still need work. Some of the window resizing and some other things, but the issues have been opened on it. All it takes is the community or developers to work on these things. If anybody runs Redox OS as their daily driver, I would be really interested in hearing what you use it for and what your experience has been like. Would Scorpus use Redox OS? It's Friday, Friday, got a Redox on Friday. Terminal. Reboot. Stick down. Log output, and stin up, redox, next gen operating system. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal, gotta get down to the bus stop, gotta catch my bus.